All right, let's get into it. We are going to be downloading and installing Snort on Ubuntu. First thing you want to do is a sudo app update. Make sure your system is up to date. Go ahead and let this run. Enter your password for sudo. And let that complete. Next, we're also going to do a sudo apt upgrade. Click yes. And let that go to completion. Might take about three minutes or so. Then you want to install all the dependencies that Snort needs. Just go out on the web and Google all dependencies needed for Snort and copy a favorite command and throw it in there and install the dependencies. Next, um, we're going to make our interface set to promiscuous mode. It's IP link set, and then your interface, mine is eth0, eth0 and promisc on, and of course it needs a sudo. And then we can come over to Snort's website, and since we're using Ubuntu, we're going to copy from source, just verbatim commands copying over, starting with the wget. package file, for both of those, then we're going to extract them. Move into DAC2. 0.7 directory. Configure and install. Go up a directory. I think I can remember that one. And then extract. Snort package file. So we'll move up a directory, paste this in. And have that extract. Move into the snort directory. and configure and install. Pretty straightforward, copy and pasting over from Snort's website. They offer a lot of support, step-by-step -step instruction, great community support and documentation. So we'll let that finish. And now we wanna test a rule just to see that Snort is up and running. Um, just get my bearings on where I am. I'm in my home directory, parallels, and then a Snort file. And go up a directory and take a look. We can see the unpacked file and the tar file that we extracted in red. Um, we can go into the extracted snort directory, take a look what's in there. So you're going to have your config file, all your licenses, and tools. And there is no Etsy snort directory. There is an Etsy directory after the snort directory file from the extracted package. And there you can find your configuration files that you would use to edit and set your variables, etc. We can take a look at it and you can copy all of these over from this directory into Etsy snort, which is what I did. So that I have a working directory out of Etsy snort instead of home parallels snort etsy um, and then once you make that directory you can go into it and i copied over uh, if we take a look 
my configuration file from the package and I made a rules directory. If we go into rules, I've copied over the community rules and I made a new rules file called local.rules that I will work with. So if we open up local.rules with gedit and your password, we can see my snort rule that I created for testing. And it's ICMP inbound traffic from anywhere external into my Ubuntu.4 machine. Labeled it my ping test alert. Gave it a SID and a revision number. Very basic, just testing the alert. So we can go ahead and save this off. And now we can test the rule. So I'll go back over to another tab and I will run snort, telling it, pointing it to with the tag C to that file for my rules file. Tag L telling it to log it to var log snort. So I can review the alerts, press enter. And now snort is running. Go back over to my main computer and I'll initiate a ping request to the Ubuntu of dot four. So that was 10 to 11 4. Go ahead and let that go for a few packets and then stop it. back to our tab where we're running snort. No preprocessors configured. It's an error in my um, snort configuration file. And I will stop that. And then um, you can do it again. You can see what happens on the terminal. The alert comes across in the background as the pings are being sent. And you can also go into um, the alerts and cat them out or open them with Wireshark if you wanted to, but basic testing configuration for a ping packet and installing Snort on Ubuntu.